Two lads and ladies, what's going on today? We have a heavy bench press session, but first things first, I'm gonna <laughs> munch all this back. You guys know the drill, just um, egg, cheese, carrot, onion, spinach, piece of bacon. Went with this pear. I think it's on the verge of going expired, <laughs> even though fruit don't really have an expired day, it's pretty mushy, but I'll still munch it back. Still have all the nutrients we need. Also, gonna get this, make sure we get the vitamin D, you know? The sun's out, make sure we get the guns out. Fun fact, a lot of people are actually vitamin D deficient, especially during colder climates and if you're in colder or places where they don't get as much sun. Vitamin D is essential, important for a lot of functions and one of them is muscle growth and retention. It's getting cold, man. I mean, not as cold as that one week where the weather just, bro, just dropped this nuts down to like minus one degrees. Out of nowhere. Oh, no, this much is bad. Doing my munch there, bro. It actually was quite nice. The pear was average. It was a bit mushy. But yeah, we still munched there, bro. I've been editing some videos. I've been planning a few videos. Um, One of the ones I want to... I've been planning was doing like a challenge. A public challenge where I'd do like... Lift this dumbbell, win like $100 or something like that. I've just been planning. I think I will do it eventually. But I might do like another one. Um, And like more videos like that is there something you guys would want to see like videos or challenges like that on top of the stuff i already do like my gym sessions or do you guys just want to see more of my just gym trainings and stuff like that try and help and answer whatever you guys want to see and see me do yeah also creating some programs you guys i know a few of you just want me to sell some programs or like create programs to sell and i've been working up these spending ages bro because i want them i don't want them to be average you know i want them to be like something I would want to buy like myself. Editing more videos and uploading short videos I'm gonna post. And now I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna wear these pants and then just chuck a soft suit on top and then we look seeky. And I'm gonna probably have another small fee. So I'm probably just a large bottle of porridge, some quick carbs and then yes, that's us. Boom! So we just made us a feed. If you guys can see I don't want it to fall out. I got me some Porridge, banana, blueberries, uh, chuck some maple syrup in it, so bossing it. That's how she drink, and also I need to go grab my ginger. We're gonna munch that back. Digest! I learned in this one tech course that was actually quite interesting. Um, in the nutrition paper, old Lynn, Auntie Lynn, she's a GC, shout out to her. Basically, the digestive um, carbohydrates start getting digested in your mouth. So it's this chemical or enzyme called amylase. And that's where, I think it's in your saliva, and your body starts uh, breaking down the carbohydrates in your mouth. And I thought, does that mean if you like just didn't chew and you just swallowed things whole, that you wouldn't absorb carbohydrates efficiently? Because I mean, if you think about it, a lot of people just rush eating their food. There's that old thing, you've got to chew your food or stuff like that. Maybe, maybe that's, that's got some truth behind it. I'm going to jam some piano real quick. Want to hear a banger song? Banger song? One thing that I can do with all the piano songs I learn is because I don't read the music, well, I have like a very basic understanding of like reading music, whereas I, I just like learning songs. So I used to just practice them off like YouTube and stuff. Because I do it by like muscle memory, just memorizing where the keys go um, and just patterns, I like, I can play without looking at the keys. Like, I'll... Tiny little bit sidetracked, but I've got my ginger, gonna smash this back. It was just smelling and wakes me up.
average. I kind of wanted to move better, but bro, my gut's actually pissing me off. Like right here, every time I like stretch it, and I don't think it's muscular, not like my abdominals. It's like my insides, my freaking gut. So if I gotta sit on the toilet for this rest period, I gotta sit on the toilet for this rest. It's true, it's true, down the whole time but I felt it on the bench so it better be but I don't care if it was touch and go or anything but I did that three times that was my third set <sighs> what do you want bro we failed that 167.5 two miles of my ego gone away when I was at uh, Auckland Cup and I was going for that um, number one all-time sub-junior, which will likely get um, passed because <laughs> there's some crazy strong sub-juniors, but um, that's besides the point. I was on my deadlift. I got my uh, first deadlift up 280-something. My second deadlift, it went 300. It moved a bit slower than I would like, and the original plan was to get that 313.5 or whatever, and then I would, I would get that all-time spot. But like for a split second there in my mind, I had a thought, hadn't figured out if I was, what position I would be after that 300 kilo. And then I was like debating my mind whether I should work it out. And I'm a retard because I did work it out. And I was like, oh, I got third. Oh, that's top three. And that gave me the slight, that slight mental excuse of, oh, if I don't get that 313 for five, then at least I'm top three. And that stuff pisses me off, bro. Like, I wish I didn't do that. I wish I... I hadn't have that thought of trying to figure that out because whereas no, like, if you have a goal, you, you set on that goal and that goal only. That goal was to get that number one. Don't settle, don't settle for nothing other than what you set out to get. Like the same thing with reps, when you're doing reps in your mind, like if you, you've done like one, three sets and you set out to do four, you'll be like, in your mind, you'll be fatigued, especially when you're fatigued, you'll get these thoughts and you'll be like oh I've done three and I've already had a mean workout and I won't do the fourth but no you got to do the fourth so probably one more back off a of bench and then hop over squats and finish my gym sesh I'm just editing that video right now, or finishing editing it. Um, I forgot to do an outro again, my bad boy. So it was kind of because I hissed out those squats and they moved average and I was like, I was already cooked from like fatigue in general. Now we're currently on our deload week, so everything's going well. Overall, I'm stoked with this gym sesh. It was great gym sesh. The first one was kind of stupid. So in my mind, that first one, I got it up right. There was a decent motionless pause, not profound, but there was a decent pause there. Uh, but my butt came off and then I went for a second time because I was pissed off I saw the butt lift and then there was less of a pause and then my butt came off as well But I think maybe it came off a little bit less, but then the third one I was I was just pissed off So I was just focusing on keeping my butt down my butt did stay down, but it was almost a touch-and-go so uh, Stupid, but I mean it just goes to show that the strength is there um, especially if I did it three times <laughs> so Yeah, now I'm, I'm stoked with that and yeah 
thank you all for watching we're currently just about to hit 700 subscribers with 300 away um sounds small right now but we're like we got to stay consistent we got to grow together i want to help you guys uh, as much as i can as well not only like inspiration stuff like that because people do say and that um i motivate them which i'm grateful to see and like especially because like me doing what i do like just training motivates people and but not only that is uh, i like helping people with their questions just like how I used to watch other people and they helped me with my questions and stuff like that. It's kind of almost giving back, you know. Um, but thank you all for watching. If you can, chuck a subscribe. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one.